Buffalo Nuggets with Amy. Time to go on a journey to join her to learn online. Free knowledge if you have the time. Ebooks to genealogy. So visit SJC Library. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of Info Nuggets with Amy. I'm very glad that you are here with me today and that we are going to be talking about fun nuggets of information. So, um, just to let you know that we are recording this, it will later be archived on YouTube, so you don't have to take notes. You can go back later and you'll be able to watch it. But if you want to take notes, you absolutely can. I'm a big believer in a good list of notes. So today we're talking about Reference USA. It's an extremely powerful database that, um, if you think of it like a souped up um, phone book that's available online that can do all sorts of extreme data extraction and organize data in a very specific um, whatever your needs are. Um, all sorts of contact information all sorts of really good stuff. Very good especially for small businesses if you're trying to um, create some new sales leads or if you're trying to create a list of um, direct mail and you can do this for free with your library card. So first we're going to go over some now specific things um, some COVID now specific information about the library uh, so let me go ahead and bring up a different screen real quick okay so First of all, I would like to let you all know about our calendar of events of upcoming virtual programs. When you're on our website, sjcpls.org, if you go right here to Upcoming Events and double click, it will bring a list of everything that is coming up on our Facebook Live channel. Um, so, for instance, right here we see me, 3 o'clock. And when you click on the event, it'll give you a full description, but it also gives you a link to the Facebook Live page. And you'll see we've got a lot of fun stuff scheduled for the rest of the month and going into next month um, as well. Um, I would also like to point out up here at the top of the screen, we've got some information about our present curbside pickup schedule. Um, when you click on that, it'll bring you the full information about what services that we're presently offering and how to go ahead and take part of those services. The other thing to know is that you will need your library card to log in to Reference USA. And if you don't have a library card with us already, you can go ahead and click here where it says Get an Instant eCard, and you'll be able to instantly create a free account to access our online content. Um, this is a limited, limited time only thing, um, so take advantage of it while it's here. After that, you will need to have an actual library card with the number on it. So, let's go ahead and again, welcome. This is Info Nuggets with Amy. Today we're specifically talking about um, what small businesses can do with our Reference USA database. Uh, Info Nuggets is a brief look into some of the services uh, that we offer online through our databases and the specific thing we'll be looking at is how to create your own free direct mail list with the Reference USA database. Um, there's a, two specific ways that we're going to be looking at this. Um, so for instance, example number one Maybe you want to reach out to different healthcare facilities right now as a small business owner to offer maybe a discount as a thank you for everything that they've been doing for us during the past few months. So we'll take a look at how to pinpoint specific types of industries for direct mail. And the other way is maybe you want to go ahead as incentive for the residents who live immediately around your business, like maybe within a, a half mile radius or a one mile radius, a way to mail to them uh, maybe a discount or a coupon or something to get people to come back into your businesses during this time. So we'll be able to create a free direct mail list for residents within a very particular area. And let's go ahead and I'll show you how to access this really awesome database. So let's go to here. Okay. And so starting off on our website, again, sjcpls.org, 
You'll go over here and hover over where it says eLibrary. From there, you'll go down to whoops, you'll go down to databases. And we have 30 million databases and counting, um, and they're all in alphabetical order. So whenever you have time, definitely take a look at those. But scroll down towards the bottom. Again, they are in alphabetical order, so we are looking for the one that says Reference USA. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And Okay, so as it says here, Reference USA, premier source of information for reference and research. Also at this point, you might have gotten a card authentication screen popping up. Just type in your card number with no spaces and it'll let you write in. We have four different um, sub databases available within Reference USA. We've got one specific to businesses, jobs and internships, standard white pages, and consumers and lifestyles. These two are really cool, but we only have about 30 to 40 minutes today, so we're going to be concentrating on businesses and on the white pages. So let's go ahead and use that example of trying to maybe locate all of the healthcare providers within St. John's County because you want to send them um, maybe a, a postcard with a discount code or just something on there as a way to thank them for their service during these past few months. So we're going to click here on U.S. Businesses, and it's going to come up with a very generic search screen, a very quick search screen where it's asking you to type in a specific um, company name or address. We're going to skip that because the idea of our use of this database is to find that information out. So we're going to click right up here where it says Advanced Search, and we'll wait a moment. And the parameters offered within Reference USA are frankly mind blowing. They have so many different types of categories that you can use to look up a type of business. I mean, from the top, you've got company name, the basic stuff, or if maybe there's a particular executive that you're looking for, or title, or gender, or ethnicity. Um, you can search by keyword SIC NI. And AICS codes, um, and if you're small business, you know what that is. If you're not in small business yet, these are basically just codes for different types of industries. You also have major industry groups. You can search by geography. So if you were looking for, um, wanted to do just a, like a radius around a building, you can do that. You can do it for everyone in a particular state, metropolitan area, or if you just want to pinpoint a zip code, or just a county, or a specific street address, or a neighborhood. You can also search by business phone numbers or area codes. Maybe you wanted to reach every single business within 904. You could do that. Toll-free numbers. You can search by so a number of employees. So if you want to target towards small businesses, uh, maybe under five employees, you could pull up a list like that. Or if you wanted to go in a different direction and look for the larger corporations that have a large amount of employees or maybe even sales volume, you can do that too. You can focus on public or private companies. Maybe you just want headquarters. Maybe you want um, companies that have a foreign parent. Maybe you just want home-based businesses or government offices. You can do that also. We can also limit it according to credit rating. Maybe you only want to target businesses that have an A-plus credit rating. Um, or maybe you want to look for businesses that have a, a certain business expenditure. You can do that also. So as you'll see, it's got a very robust um, set of parameters on how you can do your search. In our example, what we're going to de do today is healthcare um, workers, healthcare facilities within St. John's County. So, what I'm doing, first of all, we're going to set it to St. John's County over here in Geography. I'm going to click on County, and what pops over is a, um, another menu. So, first we have to select which state. And from there, it has a list of all of the counties in Florida. And I'm going to click on St. John's. Just clicking on it will bring it to this uh, list over here on the right. This is the list of included counties within our search. Maybe we also want to go ahead and add surrounding counties, um, such as Duval, or maybe Flagler County. We would just click on each of them, and it would add them to the list. So we don't have to do them one at a time. We can do a whole bunch of different counties if we want. And if we change our mind and decide we don't want to add them to our list, we can just click on them over here and it will take them out of that menu and bring it over to the left. So just St. John's County. So after we enter each little bit of information, 
over here it says update count we're going to click on that and right now the the search criteria is just businesses within St. Johns County so we have 12,593 we're going to narrow that down considerably to include just health care um, over here there's two different ways that we can do this one is by clicking on keyword the SIC NAICS um, if you knew what the exact SIC code is that you're looking for, you could just type it in. I don't remember any of that, so I typically go and do the search. So if, for instance, if I wanted to type in healthcare and then click on search, it's going to come up with a list of results that have healthcare somewhere in the SIC description. And there are a ton. Um, we can go individually and just click on each of the ones that we're looking for and it will add them into the selected list of the ones that we're going to be searching. But considering there are so many different types of variations of healthcare, um, <laughs> like even, where did it just go? Uh, pet health plans? I mean, there's a lot of different things that come up under health. Rather than go through the entire list this way, adding them one by one, Instead of doing this keyword search, I'm going to go by major industry group. That will really help get all of them all at once pretty easily. And as you'll see here, they've got it divided into several major industry groups. We've got agriculture, mining, construction, manufacturing, etc. Over here under services, we're going to click that little expand button next to it and it will list different types of services like hotel room, um, hotels, rooming houses, personal services, business services, auto repair, miscellaneous, motion pictures, etc. We're going to go down to health services and we can select all of them which is 539 different SIC codes which is a lot or we can click that little expand button once more and we'll see all of the different types of categories included with that. And let's really quick um, click here where it says update count. So right now we're looking at 1,632 businesses within St. Johns County that have um, a health service as their SIC code. And maybe that's a little too many for you. Maybe you want to do a little bit less than that. So we could um, focus maybe on um, nursing homes or healthcare facilities that have had long term residents in there. So let's, if we do that, let's do, we've got skilled nursing care facilities, maybe intermediate care facilities, nursing, personal care, hospitals. Um, and we could take out the rest of them and just focus on those particular four categories. And again, we've got that little expand button right next to it, so we could click on that and it would show us exactly what categories those include. Let's do that and just take, uh, here we go, like rest homes, convalescent homes, adult care, retirement communities, um, health facilities, so on and so forth. So now when we update the count, we're going to go from 1632 to 66. So that's a total of 66 businesses within St. Johns County that include these as their SIC um, categories. So that's, that's a very reasonable number. So let's click and on View Results. And it's going to pull up a list of those 66 businesses in alphabetical order. So a couple of things to look at. Um, these are the basic categories that they're showing us. There are, is a, a bunch more uh, data fields inside each one. So for example, if we were to go ahead and click on, look here, like the Clyde Lawson State Veterans Hospital. If we were to or, um, go ahead and click on that, it'll give us the full information about it. First of all, indicates it's a verified record. Reference USA does contact the businesses to verify the information found within there. We have an address, we have a phone number, tell, it verifies the county, metro area, um, census tract, census block. Let's go down a little bit more. If they had any job listings in Indeed, it would show up right here. It gives us their SIC code. It indicates it's their primary SIC code, which means it's their major form of business. If there were any secondary SIC codes, they'd be showing up here as well. Um, let's see here. 
business demographics. It shows us approximately how many employees are located there. Um, sales volume is a little bit of a misnomer for some of this particular category, but let's see here. It indicates location type, last updated, so April 2020. Um, it's been seven years in this particular database. It gives us an indication of square footage, whether or not it's a home business, credit rating. Um, hours of operation, take those with a grain of salt, especially right now. Everybody's hours of operation are a little different, so you would want to call and verify on these. Um, it gives us uh, administrator and director names. Um, company news is kind of hit or miss sometimes. Um, if you were, let's go ahead and click on that. Oh, unable to load the news feed. Let's ignore that one for now. If it was a publicly traded company, it would indicate their um, ticker symbol or if they were on the stock exchange. It gives us an idea of business expenditures. Um, these are approximations. So maybe you work in a technology company. Um, maybe you do computer repair and you want to reach types of various types of companies who spend a certain amount on technology, you could create a list like that. Similar with advertising, maybe you're in, your, you're in marketing and you want to pinpoint really large businesses in St. John's County that have a high advertise, advertising budget, you could do that. Um, again, sales volume for this particular category is a little off. And there we go. So we have some very detailed information about each business within here. Other things that we want to take a look at, when you see this symbol right here under corporate tree, it indicates that this business is a, is a subsidiary of a larger corporation. So if we were to click on that, it would give us the full, um, the full list of what the parent company is and then all of the different um, subsidiaries underneath it or franchises perhaps. And it will show you, for instance, right here, let's see here, PV, I think that's, oh, here we go, private company. And then SU, subsidiary of the, of the U.S. parent. So, and that's usually, if you ever want to write a larger company about customer service, I've done that before with some other larger retail companies whom I won't mention where if you have an issue and you know you want to um, reach the president of a company this is a very good way of looking up that address and sometimes finding a phone number that they do not list on their websites so that's another use <laughs> of Reference USA um, so and you'll see here that we've got pages one of three 66 results and there we go now, if you wanted to go ahead and download these, and if you're doing direct mail, you will want to go ahead and download these, you can click right up here in the upper left next to company name, and it will select all of the records at once. Uh, with the plan that we currently have, you can download 250 records at a time. Um, if you want to include all of them, though, you have to go from page to page. Check that box. Go on to the next one and check that box as well. So now that we've selected the ones that we want to download, we're going to go right up here to download. And these are the options that it gives us. Uh, we can do it as comma delimited, Excel, different type of Excel, tab delimited. Summary will just be the name, address, phone number, and 17 additional fields. Those include things like the SIC number, I think sales volume, how many employees they have, the really basic information. Detailed, I want to warn you about, the data set is massive. Um, you're going to be getting a lot of information that you will not need for a, a direct mail. It might be good to have it anyway, and then later on you can just go ahead and select which columns you want, but just to give you a heads up, detailed includes a lot of information. And then from here, you would go ahead and download the records. One thing I do also would want to let you know about is if you don't have Excel on your computer, maybe you haven't been able to afford it or you just never got around to uploading ex or downloading Excel, there is a free open source software out there called OpenOffice and I think Miss Margaret's going to link that for us in the comments. Um, but OpenOffice 
Again, it's open source. Um, it's an equivalent to Excel. It's not Excel. It's definitely not a Microsoft product, and it's a little bit clunkier than what you'll find in Microsoft, but the functionality is extraordinarily similar. So if you can't Excel afford Microsoft products at this time, um, OpenOffice is a very solid substitute. It's free, it's open source, and it's something that I use myself at home. Um, once you have this information in um, a spreadsheet format like Excel or OpenOffice, in order to convert that into direct mail, you'll need to do something called mail merge. We're not going to get into the directions on that. That's an entirely different episode. But I did take a look on YouTube, and there are a ton of instructional videos on YouTube that will show you how to make address labels with mail merge. This particular one, um, and again, I think Margaret's going to go ahead and link it in the comments. Um, it was under, it was like three minutes and seven seconds. <laughs> I mean, she goes through the instructions on this very simply. Um, some Microsoft products can be kind of counterintuitive, like you don't know exactly where to click or how to do these things, but she really simplifies it and makes it pretty easy to understand how to do the mail merge, which is essentially exporting the data that you've collected in Excel, the name, the address, city, state, zip code, formatting it into Microsoft Word where you can set it up with a label template so you can just go ahead and automatically print those individual addresses out onto labels. So if you had a stack of postcards prepared or a letter something you wanted to mail in an envelope to those particular businesses, you would just need to go ahead and slap the labels right on there. So, let's go back to here. Okay, so that was looking up a very specific type of business and getting the contact information for those locations. The other thing to know about Reference USA, don't hit the back button. You'll kind of lose stuff that you are working on. Instead, use the back buttons on here that they have embedded in the website, or go ahead and click on New Search. And to get to the different sub databases within Reference USA, like right now we're in business, we're going to go ahead and click on the logo, and that will bring us back to the main page. And now we're going to take a quick look at the standard white pages. So again, this is pretty much like the information you would find in a phone book, plus a whole lot more. Again, we're skipping this basic quick search and going straight to advanced search. And we're going to go to a tool which I find absolutely fascinating. And let's see here. So for this one, we are going to do a map-based search of St. Augustine targeting a specific neighborhood. Um, let's go ahead and click on Open Map. So maybe you have a restaurant or some business and you want to go ahead and let the local residents who live near your business know that you're open. Maybe you want to go ahead and offer them a discount as incentive to come back. So right here I'm typing in St. Augustine, Florida. We're zooming into the area. We do have a little zoom symbol right here where we can get closer and closer. So let's take a look. Mm -hmm. And we've got different ways of looking at this map. We've got this generic one here. You can do satellite view or you could do a hybrid view that lists street names as well as the aerial. So let's say you wanted, here we go, so here we kind of have our downtown area. So let's say you had a business on St. George Street and you wanted to go ahead and send a postcard to everyone who kind of lived within walking distance. Um, maybe, let me go down a little bit so we can include, there we go. So maybe you just wanted to send a postcard to everyone who lived within this area. You can do that. Right up here where we have select your area, we can click on draw shape and we can actually click right here on the quadrants of the area and on the last one do a double click and that'll kind of lock it into place. 
right here. So right now we are getting all of the results, 1,213 of residential addresses that live within this area. So if you wanted to go ahead and send a postcard out to a thousand people who lived within walking distance, walking distance of your business on St. George Street, you could. And I think you can also, can you drag it down? Let's see here, we might have to restart if we wanted to make that a little bit smaller or focus in on just a couple of streets. Um, yeah, if we wanted to start over, we could just click on delete and say, whoops, no, that maybe that's a little too big. Maybe instead what we want is more like from here to here to here to here. And double click on that last one. So this is 182 addresses. So from there, we could go ahead and click on done. And it's showing us 182 addresses. Um, and if we were to go ahead and click on view results, I have gone ahead and made a slide where I kind of redacted everybody's names and addresses just for privacy reasons. But you would get the same thing pretty much that you saw in the businesses. You'd have their names, their street address, city, state, zip code. Phone numbers hit or miss. Since so many people have cell phones, the um, phone data is not always there. And one of the warnings, one of the caveats they do have with Reference USA is that phone numbers you shouldn't be, you should not be using for sales. There are um, different marketing restrictions that you have when it comes to phone numbers. Um, so don't use the phone numbers, but you would be able to collect this information to create it as a direct mail. And again, you would do the same thing where you would go ahead and download it open it in Excel or open it in Open Office and then do a mail merge and you'd be able to print out the labels, the addresses, each individual one on a label and then go ahead and put those on a postcard or something that you might want to mail to them. And let's see here. And that's pretty much it. I mean it's really not that hard once you know what to look for. And it's a great way to get really creative with how you want to target your lists. And this is for anywhere in the United States. You don't have to restrict yourself to St. John's County or, to, um, or even to Florida. Um, if you wanted to create such a list for a different state, maybe you have a brother or sister who has a small business out in Wyoming or California and you want to help them create such a list, you can do that. It's not limited to just local stuff. Um, and again, it's extremely robust, very powerful. You get a lot of information on there. Now, I am going to see... Margaret, have we had any questions? Is there anything that I need to go over? Um, let's see here. And I'm not quite able to see some of the questions that are on my end. So Margaret, if you want to just give me a quick text and let me know if there's anything that needs addressing. I think we're probably good. So I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Here we go. Wait a minute. There's my special thank you screen. So it's always fun to share our database information with you. And I hope that you find this helpful, especially as so many businesses are reopening and trying to reach out to our residents to let them know that you're open. I hope that you find this as a really good tool to help bring people back to your, to your business. Um, every Friday, three o'clock. I do an info nuggets on one of our databases. So I hope to see you guys next Friday. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to go ahead and leave you with my theme song because I will play this every opportunity that I get. And again, thanks and have a nice Friday. Except for the volume is not here. Okay, so maybe we won't get the theme song. Okay. Well, thank you anyway, guys. Um, again, have a great weekend. Bye.